Good evening, you filthy animals. Today's video is about confidence. The thing I like about confidence is that it is much more in our control than we initially think. Whether or not you think you can do something, you're usually right. What does that mean? If you think you can't do something, more than likely, you can't do it. If you think you can do something, more than likely, you can do it. It plays a much bigger role than we think to be confident and it filters through to all aspects of life. Most of the time, someone will inherently judge you subconsciously based on the amount of confidence you exude and you show with your actions, body language, speech, whether or not you stutter, all of that plays a part. Even eye contact as well. Eye contact is very important. When you make eye contact with someone, you lock eyes for a split second, a lot of people, and you might find that you did this as well, will instantly look down, straight away. You might think it's polite, non-confrontational. It actually is non-confrontational, but what it does show is weakness. That's not a good thing, in my opinion, in today's society, to show weakness. I'm not saying be confrontational and maintain creepy eye contact with everybody, but there are ways to break eye contact without showing weakness or submission, if you will. Usually, when I break eye contact with somebody, I look to my left or to my right, okay? Now, there's studies that go around saying that looking to the left shows something different than looking to the right. But I personally don't feel there's that much of a difference. I usually look to the side, but holding eye contact with somebody when they make eye contact with you, generally shows that you're on their level subconsciously, so to speak. And I think it applies to professional relationships Friendship, if you can't look somebody in the eye, there's a problem, first of all. Let's start there. If you continually break eye contact and look down when someone who you're romantically interested in looks at you, subconsciously, they will view you as lower status than them. And then you can kiss any attraction goodbye. So locking eye contact for a split second, as much as is normal without it being creepy, I think is necessary at times. It's not something I think about because now it's kind of like a habit. I you know, don't feel any fear of having one second of eye contact with somebody, it's, it's not an issue. But that comes from confidence, being able to look somebody in the eye, being able to see through, you know, bullshit, I suppose. It's, it's a sign of in, on, in, what's the word? It's a sign of dishonesty, potential manipulation, lying if somebody can't hold eye contact when they're trying to tell you something. Unless it's something that is traumatic or visibly difficult for them to say, say if they're telling you a story of something that happened to them in their, in their childhood, then Whatever they're trying to tell you, if it's true, they should be able to maintain eye contact with you when saying it. So this is a great filter or a great indicator if someone is lying to you. Now, it doesn't work all the time, obviously. Some people know this and they hold eye contact even when they lie, okay? But that's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is, if someone can't look you in the eye, then you need to question why that is, okay? If you can't look someone in the eye, you need to question why that is. I think confidence can be developed in a variety of ways and it can help with your ability to feel good within yourself, to maintain eye contact with people. There are various ways to develop confidence which I could probably make an entire series of videos on. In fact, I probably will do that. So, Maybe for the rest of the week, I don't know, it depends. But it's a skill, it can be developed. 
having good body language, you know, walking upright, good posture, all that stuff. Even if you're not inherently feeling confident, that can have a subconscious effect to make you feel better. So it's just food for thought. Anyway, that's probably the start of my video series on confidence. And if you liked it, subscribe. Don't miss the next one because it's probably gonna be about the same topic and I'll catch you then.